Hi! I am jumping on real quick to give you an intro to this video that I'm about to show you because I messed the original one up that I had intended. A little bit of a humbling story. I had a microphone, a new microphone that I was trying out on my phone on this trip and I wanted to try to make it all professional and I was giving you an intro. I was talking while I was at the uh, in the bins shopping and I was giving you an outro so I was sure that people were looking at me you know wondering was I talking to myself but I was trying to make myself think no I'm not talking to myself I'm talking to all of you on YouTube so then I get done and I'm up in my vehicle and doing your you know doing the outro and then I wanted to check to to see how the sound worked with the microphone well I started to play back my video and none of it had sound I had forgotten to push power on my microphone so the whole time my microphone was turned off so come to find out I actually was talking to myself <laughs> so you'll have a voiceover on this video and then I will um, follow up with a haul video this video is going to be a little bit too long to tack on the haul so I will do that in a second video here is your video let's go shopping at the bins Right, here we go shopping at the bins and I found a cart right when I got in there so I was happy about that and here we go let's see what all we find oh yeah I, I don't know if that was a Cincy or not but I was sad to see that broken And there's lots of shoes. Oh, and Christmas. Yes, I love the Christmas. And I was looking for vintage Christmas or vintage anything this day, but I did not find much of anything as far as vintage goes. They had a lot of Christmas, but it was all newer or broken. I thought that was interesting and I did see later on somebody else did pick that up. Lots of pictures and frames. Oh, that was a little owl shelf sitter and I know this is newer probably something you'd find at Dollar Tree but I thought he was really cute and didn't want to leave him I can use him in my decor or maybe put him in the booth in the fall just to sit out that is a brand new wreath but I did not need it, so it stayed there. There's a coaster, I think. Well, this is a little aluminum cookie cutter, and I do believe it's older. I didn't see a name on it. I also looked to see if there were more, but that was the only one I found. There's a lot of different wood, like broken wood pieces, and then, like I said, a lot of frames. I did like this one. I liked the little metal corners on it, so I did grab that because I figured I'll put that up. I don't have any use for it right now, but I might at some point. And that's like a cast iron hook, and I, I figured I could use that as well. I'll find something for it. It was really nice. These little books, I think they were vintage and I think they were like little activity books. Um, I went ahead and grabbed them. I wasn't quite sure. 
uh, books here used to be three for a dollar and then I got up to the register and they're now two for a dollar which is still not too bad but I really liked it at three for a dollar that was I believe like a plug that you put in a bathtub or a sink it's brand new in the box but I didn't need it at this time. Hopefully somebody picked that up. This was just a light set. They were orange lights, but they do look newer. If they were a little bit older, I might have to grab those. And I'm having to be pretty picky about what I pick up because my space is limited where I put things, where I store things, and I just don't have the room for it. So I mostly look for resale, or if it's just absolutely something I need or want. This was pretty neat. It was a, a resin tea set for Thanksgiving, and I've never seen one th for Thanksgiving. I did put it in the cart to check to see if there were any pieces missing, and later on I did. There, are, there were several pieces missing, so I did put that back. This is like a homemade patriotic piece. I'm not real sure why, but I did grab this. I might use it in a 4th of July decorations. I thought it was kind of neat. Oh, the uh, doll clothes. They had several doll clothes in this boat. Um, and they're all like the American Girl size doll clothes. I don't think any of these were the American Girl dolls. I think they were the Walmart brands or the Target brands. But my girls have those dolls. So I did go ahead and pick those up for them. That looked like a maybe like an embroidered. And I'm not sure if that was homemade or not. I think I did take that with me. Well, this was like a handmade wooden cu uh, cutout and hand painted. And it looks like you do hang it on the wall, but I think you could also set it down on a flat surface. So I did grab that. I might use that myself in decoration. And this is Tupperware. And I'm not ever seeing this piece. I don't really know what the, uh, what that would be used for. It's small, so I thought it might be for crackers. I'm not sure. I'll, or maybe cheese. I'll have to look that up. I was thinking like the Velveeta cheese. I'm not real sure. But I'll look it up. I think I did pick it up though. Oh, this doll. I was thinking when I picked it up that it looked like American Girl. So I did put her in the buggy. And this is one of the vintage books and that's a little coloring book and I thought that would be really cute to put in a Valentine's display. I can't remember what the year was on that if it was 1980 something. Those are little Pampered Chef cookbooks. And there was another one. Oh yes, here I'm telling you, I've checked her. She is the Welly Wisher American Girl. That's not her original dress. And her face looks like it has makeup and stuff on it. So I have to clean her off. And I might have some clothes to put on her. But that was a good find. She wasn't in too bad condition, just needs cleaning up. That was like a box to maybe a handmade sewing or a lid to the handmade sewing box and I thought this was part of it but it was not it was a different kind of wood but it was all busted up all of it was
Oh, that's a, that was thread with a wooden spool. Those other ones were plastic, and I did look around to see if I could find any more of the wooden ones, but that was the only one. That's a little trinket box, and I was looking to see if there was a charm inside, because I know sometimes they have them, and the quality on that one was not very good. It was not a, I did leave it. It wasn't a good one. <laughs> Uh, this was nice. This is the Tupperware measuring bowl. And I don't think I will be showing it because I did find a second one. But I'll, I'm going to have a haul video after this one. It was too much to put it all together. But I'll be following up with a haul video so you can see everything I got. Because I know not everything got videoed. This bowl looks interesting. I wasn't quite sure. Um, if it was just a microwave bulb, I didn't see any name on it, so I left it there. And I'm still looking for another wooden spool, but there were no more. I did find that. I think it's a pattern cutter. Oh, this doll, she was really heavy. She had like a sound box inside of her, and it looks like she had a string you pulled. That she, maybe she talked, but she wasn't working. And yeah, she was really heavy. Oh, I found that little butterfly plaque. I look under everything because sometimes you find the best treasures underneath it all. This was a cute little snowman stocking holder plastic. I've picked up some of these before, and I think they're made by, usually made by Hallmark. I don't know if this one had a marking on it. He was pretty dirty, but for the most part, he was in good shape, so I did grab him. That was like a marbled ashtray, but it was pretty badly chipped up. So I left that there. Oh, this was a lid to what looked like a vintage jewelry box, and it didn't look broken off. It looked like it had just come off, so I put it in the buggy just to see if maybe I could find the other part of it. I never did. I never did find the other part. But I found this really interesting looking spoon. It has a neat handle on it, and I like the size of it. That was a neat little Christmas tree, but you can see the tip broke off there. Oh, there was the tip. <laughs> oh, there's the bowl, and there is the lid. I thought that was a cute little bowl. I don't know. I'm assuming that's handmade. I'll have to take a better look at it when I get all of my haul out. I don't think it was signed, though. Lots of interesting things in here. That would be a lid to a big pot. Oh, the, there was a... That's Department 56, the bottle brush trees. So I did pick up a couple that were in good shape. Some of them were not in good shape. Yeah, that one is also Department 56, so I did grab those. Oh, this little doll. She was sweet. I mean, she had a lot of staining in, on her face and everything. And I think I did put her in to look her up to see if I could find anything on her, but I don't know that I ever did.
yeah, that's an, that's one of those bottle brush trees, and it was attached to that doll's hair, and I didn't really want to mess with untangling that. Oh, that's a Scentsy spatula. Now, I've never seen one of these. I'm assuming you use it to scrape the wax out. Um, I have a Scentsy, so I grabbed it. I figured I could use that. Oh, this was neat. This is a wooden Santa. Now, he was not broken or anything. His paint was a little rough. He had some scraping in certain areas. And I showed the bottom a little bit. He has two, two little holes. I don't know if he actually would have sat in something. Uh, that was like a little bear. I'm not sure what it was made out of. But it had a little cinnamon stick on top of its head. Oh, this was an owl uh, bookend. I was I didn't know that. I read it on the tag there. It still had the tag on it. And it was made out of material and it had a little beanbag bottom to make it heavy. Yeah, he was kind of scary. He did, his eyes, the paint on his eyes had come off. And there's his buddy. So I found both of the bookends. I don't know. I know those are newer. There's another tree. A little beaver. I think that was a Nebraska corn in the husk. So there's one with the paint on his eyes, and he had his tag. I don't think those are too terribly old. I just thought they were kind of cute, and I might could use those at Easter. That might be the pot that went with that lid I saw earlier. He had a lot of little plush in this one. Sometimes I pick up plush, but or I look for unusual ones. And I do try to see if I can find new with tag because sometimes you can actually find a lot of new in tag in these bins. That was a neat little lockbox, but very dented up. And there's another one. And he doesn't have his tag, but his eyes look good, so I grabbed him too. Oh, this was a homemade doll, I believe, and I would have grabbed him, but his, he was not in the best condition. You can see the glue. Um, it's just not something I would be able to fix myself, and like I said, I don't have space to keep things, so I didn't grab him, but I thought he was cute. This elephant was nice, wooden, but he was missing a tusk there. I think he's newer too. I don't think he was too old. Signs. This was the day to find signs. There were a lot of little signs you're going to see. Wall plaques. Looks like somebody made that. That's cute. You can see all those signs and all the wood. This was looked like an apple shaped cutting board, but it was broken there on the side. There's more signs coming. This also looked like a little handmade dog. I don't know that I grabbed him because he was he did have a lot of staining on him and I'm not real sure I could have gotten that out. He was cute. Yes, 
Happiness is a choice. It is. That one was something to do with a caboose and a train. It was a little metal sign. Alright, so this is towards the end. I thought I was videoing here, but apparently I just took pictures. So I thought I'd go ahead and show you these. And that's going to wrap the video up. Thank you all for watching, and I will be following up with a haul. See you soon.